Priscilla came to her TikTok and said, women don't want to be helped. Women don't want to be saved. And this will, this will crack me up. She said, men know something about women that I wasn't fully aware of. <laughs> you are now tuned into Gutta and Saint. Consider the greatest spitting. I tell them I'm Christ like they envision modern Christian. I tell them I'm not like the conditions that I'm living. I preach Christ, we ain't fake delivering this. Candy man, as soon as they know. It's not about how much Bible chapter and verse you know, it's about how much Bible you're willing to obey. There's an old saying that goes, Hell has no fury like a woman scorned. Now, Priscilla the Queenmaker, who was widely known for bashing men and elevating women to almost God's level, is now having a change of heart. Well, possibility having a change of heart. Now, all her male hating, you know, disciples is coming for her, is coming at her and calling her a traitor and all the rest. Priscilla the Queenmaker took to her TikTok and was saying, man, women love abuse they love drama, they love trauma bonding, and all the rest. Sit on the outside and look in. Look at the women's behavior. This ain't just about B. Taylor. Look at the audience. Look at the women who are loving the drama. Look at the women's behavior. They like mess. They like a fight. They don't even care about what's true or not, right? They want the back and forth. They like being gossipy because they like mess. Look at the, when you go look at the different videos that I put out. When it's time for women to be accountable and step up to the plate and own their stuff, they don't want to do it. But I can guarantee you that the women love to side with victims. The women have a problem with how I'm even handling this. And they find a problem with it. Why is that? Because the women want to polarize themselves on a powerless plane. They like to play victim. Well, guess what, sweetheart? The reality is I don't have to, I, I'm not in the business of saving people who can't be saved. That's the reason why I don't fuck with me. But when women show me that they will rather destroy a woman, destroy every, cause they, they like chaos. They love abuse. They like a victim story. They don't like a, they don't like a triumphant story. They don't like a, a story of resilience. They don't like that. They want to cry. They want a trauma bond. They want bullshit. And when they showed me that, I have to go back to the drawing board and I got to reevaluate some shit. The funny thing is Priscilla the Queen Maker is saying everything men have been saying about a lot of these women to the point that Priscilla says she might have to go back to the drawing board and reevaluate herself in regards to supporting women. Because that's my mission to help women. But what this has shown me is that I need to reevaluate how I even decide to help women because now I see that you probably can't help them either. So recently, Priscilla the Queenmaker went through a very bad public breakup with her girlfriend, uh, B. Taylor, resulting in B. Taylor coming to the internet exposing all Priscilla's dirt, saying she's a bad mom to her daughter, she hardly feeds or bathes her daughter, she's very militant and doesn't show empathy, not only for men, but she don't show empathy to women as well. She say a lot of bunch, a bunch of crazy stuff on the internet about supporting women, but in her real life, she do not support women. The only reason why I bring up her daughter is because of my concern. Hopefully this video motivates her to get up in the morning and feed her, stop threatening to lock up the fridge, make sure she takes her baths, make sure she brush her teeth and wash her face, please take her to the dentist, please get her her own bedroom. You turn your second bedroom of your apartment into your studio and your daughter doesn't have a room to play in. And then you yell at her and curse at her, knowing she's has autism. You yell and curse at her for making a mess in the living room. And I tell, and I take up and I say, I don't like you yelling at her. She has nowhere to play. Where is she supposed to play? I didn't buy your daughter toys. I didn't buy her a tea set so y'all can start spending time together. You haven't fucking touched that tea set because you don't spend time with her. You don't spend genuine, real time with your daughter. You always yelling and cursing at her, and it's disgusting because that girl has autism and she doesn't know how to speak well. You need to be reading books to her, sitting down with her. You want other people to be a mother to your child, but then you want to tell other women what kind of shitty mothers they are. It's not right. You want to sit there and brag on TikTok saying my daughter sleep on a $5,000 mattress. Um, Betty, you had your daughter sleeping on a torn, broken down, 20 year old 
mattress with pee stains and stains and holes and shit in them. Don't be sitting up there making it seem like your daughter been sleeping on a mattress like that. It took me stepping in and saying, get your ass a good mattress for you and your daughter sleeping. If your daughter not sleeping in your room because you're trying to do things in there, she's sleeping on a fucking tiny ass couch. She don't have her own room. If, if I'm lying, please get on live and show your apartment to your followers. You want to talk about transparency in that way? I just said she's very militant and she, she doesn't have empathy. Like she said, she doesn't have empathy, you know? You tell women all the time, don't choose men, choose yourself. If you don't want to be a lesbian, be by yourself. But you realize you can't be by yourself. You don't like being by yourself. You're very clingy. Here's you to write your chat GPT book that you're releasing. I'm like, why are you selling that book for $30 when chat GPT help you? Right? So in essence, what B. Teller is saying about uh, Priscilla the Queen Maker is, here's the thing. Priscilla the Queen Maker is a fraud. That's pretty much what she's saying. She said Priscilla used Chat GPT to write her book and then sold it for $30 to, to, to her audience. She only panders to women because women are gullible and will, women are willing to spend some money. You know, that's the reason why she don't really pander to men. Yo. B. Teller went in on Priscilla the Queen Maker, man. She said so much other stuff, man. We'll be three hours trying to, you know, go through the whole video, but y'all can go watch her video. I'm just summarizing everything. Now, Priscilla came to her TikTok in her own defense, pretty much saying that everything B. Taylor said was a lie. And, and uh, pretty much B. Taylor is a woman scorned. Y'all want to hear what I believe Priscilla is doing? She's got Lighting B. Taylor's feelings. Yes, the same thing Priscilla the Queen Maker say men do to women, gaslight their feelings and suppress their feelings. That's the same thing uh, uh, Pr Priscilla is doing. Priscilla came to her TikTok and said women don't want to be helped. Women don't want to be saved. And this will, this will crack me up. She said men know something about women that I wasn't fully aware of. <laughs> Hey, Priscilla, that's typical toxic dude behavior. <laughs> this could have been avoided had I understood that women don't want to be helped. There's a reason that these dudes got this song called Don't Save Her, She Don't Want to Be Saved. These men who deal with women on a regular basis, they know something about women that I am not fully aware of. That is what made me deal with B. Taylor, period because I quote unquote saved her from the metal sphere. Not because I'm trying to run no game, but because I'm trying to help you as a woman. Now, just in my observation of that clip, right? Priscilla the Queen Maker is ex exhibiting a savior type of complex. She believes that she has the ability to rescue women due to her status. You know, her her knowledge and wisdom of the, the universe and all the other stuff, the the woman's fear that she talked about in her resources and all the and all the stuff that she had because her newfound notoriety and fame. She feel like she can save women. She have a savior complex. Listen, how many times she mentioned she tried to save B. Taylor and from the man is fear in that video. Sounds pretty narcissistic to me. Y'all wanna know who Priscilla the Queen Maker reminds me of? She reminds me of a misogynistic, toxic, overly masculine, entitled man. <laughs> yeah, Priscilla the Queen Maker is everything she hates. And if you listen to her long enough, that's the mindset she preach against. Everything she talk about men is what she demonstrating, in, you know, in regards to her ex, uh, B. Taylor. Priscilla the Queen Maker knows all the cutesy things and all the cutesy gestures and the love bombing to keep women in their feelings because, you know, after all, she is a woman. You know, at the end of the day, Priscilla's a pimp in my eyes. She's running game. And, and a bunch of us men saw this from a mile away. But unfortunately, a lot of you women, y'all are gullible and y'all don't see the wolves in the sheep's clothing amongst your own community, your own feminist groups. Y'all don't see your own wolves and y'all couldn't see that Priscilla the Queen Maker was running game with y'all. At the end of the day, Priscilla the Queen Maker is saying what I've been saying from 21 Jump Street. She is saying what I've been saying from the beginning. Men and women are the same evil. We just do evil things in different ways. Sometimes we do evil things in the same ways. Men and women are the same evil. In fact, I've always quoted the scriptures. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is more deceitful than anything else. Incurable. Who can understand it? Listen, men and women have a heart 
which all of us is subjected to do crazy, evil things and demonstrate crazy and evil behaviors. Men and women are the same, Priscilla. Unfortunately, you had to experience what us men go through <laughs> to understand. But yo, man, that's all I got for y'all, man. Hop down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. And I'll holler at y'all on the next one. Peace. Cashmerch.com Vintage Saint Collection Cutta and Saint Abstract Collection Shop now at Cashmerch.com The gate is spitting. I tell them I'm Christ like they envision modern Christian. I tell them I'm nothing like checking visions of how I'm living. I preach Christ, we ain't fake delivering. Listen, candy man, as soon as they know. It's not about how much Bible chapter and verse you know, it's about how much Bible you willing to obey.